first they love you, then they hate you again. Lifelong dreams, we just striving to win. Started from the bottom, go from Buick to Benz. Yeah, we stopped them games where they start to begin. Y'all ain't fucking with us, we ain't fucking with them. Every time y'all drop, y'all ain't dropping no gems. I need cash money just like Baby and Slim. And we don't believe a second chance to catch the Slim. What's up? What's up? What's up? Ashtray. We are back with sound. Come back. Welcome. Hey, look, it's inappropriate. Episode 90. Mm-hmm. Hello there. I am Mike Torch. Kick the nuts. Mac Way. Word. Hi. How you guys? You guys doing <laughs> alright? How you guys? You guys doing alright? <laughs> We're just gonna act like we didn't fuck up. Or well, I say we, but I I fucked up. We're not gonna talk about those things. How you do, how you doing, Dorian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good man, still alive, living, thankful, grateful. You know, Word. Uh, how how was the reception of, of the new project therapy? Cause I love it. I haven't stopped playing it. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was pretty straight, you know what I mean? Like, Nigga, shut straight. straight. Already. Yeah. Already. Very modest, you know what I mean? Keep it humble. But nah, yeah, people seem to like it. Everybody has a different favorite song on there, so that's pretty That's pretty straight. It's something too, that too I many, like. Too many jumps. Yeah. That's For real. Some, that's, that's one of my Usher's Confessions, Mike Jack Thriller type shit. Yeah, like, more than one favorite song. For real. Every other day, it's like, oh, damn, I like this one better than that one. You're like, nah, but this one sounds way better. Wait, hold him down. I didn't even hear him say this. I picked up this. And California it's like, Burning, obviously, like, you was, you was spitting that shit. Yeah. So early, I heard that song, but then, like, memoirs hit, like. I seen you something. perform yeah, that. Yeah. You performed that in Boston, and, like, I fell in love with it then. Memoirs? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because of the crowd oh, reaction, yeah. too. Like, the interaction in between, in between the verses and, um, the, the chorus is, is just dope. This guy could fucking rock a stage. It's ill. Yes. One hell of a performer, too. I am not that bad. Nigga, nigga. I said it last week. I was like, you had me dying. You was like, see, I'm a pretty motherfucker. Your whole crowd. I'm a pretty I was like, oh, shit. This nigga is ill. It's like. Get the nigga off the liquor. Yeah. Word. That's what's up. You seem like, you seem very, very humble. You seem like very quiet. Where, where does your, like, everything come from? Where does the music come from? Um, I mean, I guess I don't know. My dad. Old Jamaican dude used to like wake up 4 a.m. and just singing mad songs like in the morning time. Uh, my family's pretty musical, you know what I mean? Like my brother, I got an older brother in Jamaica. He's a he's an artist out there. Yeah, that nigga nice. Music, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? What's your brother's name? Word. Yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, he's nice. Uh, he's, he's, he's what kind of music talented. he do? Uh, like more conscious reggae music, but oh, he, he can tap into like anything. Though. Like he does. I got a couple songs with him that like we're about to drop. Like yeah, so he's dope. And then like and my sister's a singer. My older sister's a singer. Um, just my aunt's a singer. But like uh, I guess like I probably started making music like just like fucking around. I like made beats and shit like with my boy Apollo in high school Apollo and my boy Yusuf and like I never really took it serious I was more like an athlete I was, I was trying to make it to the league like NBA <laughs> trash <laughs> ass <laughs> pay- you know these guys these guys we, we might want to talk about he, okay he went to Long Meadow for every for most watchers that, that are that are on this that are on this live and everybody that was from this guy long meadow trash ass long meadow to be honest like i wasn't even like not like i i probably had no chance to ever get into the league it was just like you know everybody mm-hmm. got that dream mm-hmm. it was my favorite sport so Thanks. and then like I, at 18 i kind of fell in love with music like i always had a passion for it like just i love listening to music but like, i never thought i'd be like I think when I first heard of you, you were going by D Run. Yeah, definitely. That was my first rap name, D Run. Like that guy. Was and a then. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? What you mean by that? Why, how... More like just you can like... you hear it in the music. That's what that was my follow up question because you have D Run, then you have Dorian Pierre, who I feel are two do- totally different people. So, where did that like transition happen? Where did the D Run come about? When did it kind of just kind of go away? And then Dorian Pierre just pops out because I feel like this now this is where you found your sound. Yeah, d- no, nah, most definitely. And it's um, honestly, I guess I was like D-Ren for a little bit, and then I was just kind of talking about like it was more just like 
imaginative things like like driving them in. Just like nothing that I really had, so it wasn't really more. Some of the music was personable, but like not all of it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it was just kind of more dream, dreamland. And then I dated this girl, and she was like, oh, it's the girls. "All you do is talk about being that ain't a no <laughs> dot, dot, dot. So that kind of like I, I like being challenged, like because first that's not all I talked about, but since that's what you said. I'm going to just tap into a different mm. frequency. And I went to Miami. I lived out there for a little bit. And then I kind of, like, just came up with, like, a different sound. like Or, or try to, like, try to just catch those vibes while I was out there. And I kind of, music started to mean more to me. Like, I was listening to, like, Kendrick, listening word. to Chance. And it was just, like, a word. Like, all right. Like, I can hear the Chance influence, especially yeah. how you um stretch out your words when you um, melodize and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, Yo, you're creative as hell. Like, yeah. like mm-hmm. how, like your hooks and like how you pull pockets, shit from yeah. certain shit. Like, how the fuck? That island shit. Yeah, is, man, yeah, you man. can tell your island yeah. shit is heavy influence, but the way you use it modernly influenced with hip hop is is different. You know what I mean? It's, it's different. When when you hear Big Mon sound, right there, it's just like the two. The best of both worlds. You have the hip hop, then you got the little reggae shit going on, and the, and just you talking your shit that makes the record. Like yeah. I be in the car, like <laughs> Danny, 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 Danny. <laughs> that, yes. the baby looking at me like yo. She said the baby be looking. Like, like, <laughs> Mom, where we going? <laughs> I think writing on the wall <laughs> was creative as hell. Like, like played into that shit. Every, everything from the very beginning, I, I like I like the hell out of it. There's, there's a lot, the whole thing from beginning to end. No, we appreciate that. I mean, even I, the EP, my bad, that cutting you off. Even the EP before that, I know. Fire, like that is my this shit. This is crazy, yo. Bro, they never mop, they dusty, you off right yo. Now. Cause yo, this off. nigga, this nigga, this nigga's a man, yo. You gotta give, 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 It's just different. It's just different. You do know this before with your friend? No, no, You do know this I know, you facing your artist. Who's your, who's your vote then? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. It is. I can't. <laughs> because you know what, what, what people will be fucking people up. They have like this thing, and they they go in with, a, with this type of mindset, and then it don't work out. So you never That's underestimate your opponent. That's For why real. I don't want to be like, oh, there there is my guy. That's that's my artist, obviously. But when people talk talk to me and be like, oh, who do you think really got like that chance to really blow complete sound? His fucking swag, the way his look, his fucking skin is fucking beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> damn, you know girl. I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, I always say, I, 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 I got it. I got it. Yeah, amazing. I was, I was Tell him, mother, what that is? <laughs> you fuck that nigga's nah. skin got to do with the suit. Thanks, mom and dad. Hey, yeah. You said that. Fuck proactive. You said, nah, nigga, this is natural, nigga. Black don't crack, yeah. bro. Fuck it. Who has the best chance of coming out out of Springfield, out of New England? Talk that talk. I'd say Dorian. Well, Sound is complete. You gotta give respect. Well, respect. Appreciate yeah. that. And what's honest, I'm not gonna hold y'all. What's crazy about that project is like, yo, all right, like, those songs are. Yo, I heard this. Yeah, I heard some of the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just say. Old, it. I heard some of those songs were four years old. Yeah, absolutely. Like. Just Fun is, I made that 2016. Wow. I love that song. Writing on the Wall, I made that 2018. Um, the, the latest two songs I made on there were from like 2019, and that's Big Mun Sound, and then that's California Burning, but everything else is Wow. Like, so you were planning on this the entire time, or you were just sitting on these and you decided to, it's time? I feel well, like this is your personal greatest hits. Like, if they <laughs> weren't, you know what I mean? Like, if a greatest hits is a culmination, obviously, of the greatest music the artists put together throughout yeah. their, their career. So if you're understanding, even if I ain't dropped these songs, that this is really one. This is really yeah. one. This is when, let me hold on to all of these really number ones. You know what I mean? Same shit like we were saying. When you listen to that whole therapy, it's like you can't really say, oh, I want to listen to this one. Nah. Nah. You start was- listening to it and you're like, man. Yeah, I mean, this thing was in his bag. Huh? Yeah, I was just trying. To, like, <laughs> I kind of just kind of had like a like my first album is called Unknown, and like the concept be, be 
behind that is just like I was in a like me and all my friends was in like a state of unknown. Like we didn't really know. If, like one of my friends didn't know if he's about to make beats or go back to school. I was like, I don't know if I'm about to live in Springfield or move to New York. So it was just kind of like that was my first album. I took it down. I probably should kept it up. But then therapy happened. It was just because like a situation happened with my pops. I mean, he had to he got deported out the country type shit. And then like I was going through different relationships like. I mean, my ex wasn't working out. Like, pretty much everything on the album that you hear is just, like, that's what happened. Like, you know what I mean? That's true shit. So, like, um, yeah, I just kind of, like, put certain songs away that I knew. And then, like, I, I make music every day. I try to record a song we, every day. We see. Like, we see. I know. All the time. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. We're not yeah. recording this yeah. motherfucker, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, I even got, like, something else coming. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah. take your foot off the gas, big man. Can't, man what made you? What made you? Okay, go ahead. Finish that statement. Why can't? Why can't you stop? First of all, I just feel like I'm not. Um, I'm not respected. That's how I feel. Mm. Right? I'm always gonna feel that way until like I'm where I'm at. You know what I mean? And even then, I'm probably gonna find channel a different energy to where it's like I don't feel like motherfuckers fuck with my shit. Like. So that's just what it is. Like, Why do you feel that way? Because I feel like as, as soon day one, I was like, yo, this nigga is nice as fuck. Yeah, no okay. cap. I don't know why I feel that way. I'm just mad competitive. Like, you know what I mean? My favorite basketball player, Kobe Bryant. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just like, that's that's just how I, I try I'm to mark my shit. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, I don't know. I'll just be feeling disrespected. And I feel like if I stay in that mode, then I'll just go. This, yeah. yeah. this is why. Yeah. I wanted you to do Friday. Another reason why I wanted Darius to um do fri um do the battle on Friday. I feel the same. Every the, the same way you feel about yourself is the same way I feel about Darius. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nah, that so niggas is gonna listen up. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, and that's why y'all too niggas is gonna know Friday. That's gonna be dope. Mm -hmm. Why did you take down the album? What was your reasons behind that? Um, I guess I was just kind of. I was just in the mood that day, so I just took it down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still like it. I ended up putting it back up on um, Audio Mac. But yeah, nah, that's an album that's super tough. Like Alpha No produced most of the album. Word. That's Alpha yeah, No. That's my guy. I've been working with him for a minute, and yeah, that that the album was tough to me too. But I kind of felt like it was still kind of more like D Ren, even though I'm talking about real situations on that album. But it was just like the switch from that to Doran Pierre. Like, I don't know. Word. I ain't going to bullshit. That's what made me listen to a lot of your music, too. I mean, beyond obviously seeing you in here, the Alpha <coughs> Man, like, hey, man, nigga, you got to listen to this. Yeah, nigga. Like, you God. really yeah. be in your bag, brother. Yeah, yeah that's you my really God. You really be in your bag. Appreciate Alpha Man on this shit right now. Uh, yeah, Crazy. Yeah, I've been, I've been, mm -hmm. I've been locked in. <laughs> like, man, I can't get nothing. Yeah, you gotta learn. <laughs> Bro, you gotta, I was watching. I'm studying this shit. Yeah, yeah. how you think we feel? We waiting. Like, we I know. Ain't give up nothing yet. Like, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. We waiting for him to drop. Right. I don't know. Not even showing me nothing. I'm like, I can't, I can't get a little. Let me, let me see what's up. Shout out Alpha Male. Yeah. <laughs> um, yo, Mac over there rolling up. I don't know if you've seen anything about this salty weed going oh, around. Heard about that? Y'all, y'all, y'all see, y'all see any salty yeah, weed? Salt Bay on the weed. Yeah, <laughs> niggas is putting salt on weed to make it look a little crystally. They got to oh, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's yeah. laughing yeah. all the yeah. way. I'm about to get these niggas watch. That's some white people do that. I know, right? It started in Long Meadow. Nah, nigga, nigga, nigga. nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't not a name nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck they, they, they money up. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to school. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I knew it was real when Tom made me taste the weed the other day. For real? Like oh, you chicken. really, you really have, you really had that shit. Yeah, he's being funny. No, oh, no, no, I was about to say. Yeah, check it. He's like checking. Halloween candy. I think Halloween candy. Huh? What Tom? You know, you know Tom. Um, Tom Dark. You know, cause he know your family. He know your brother. The black ass Tom. No, <laughs> that's, that's 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 Whitlock. That's Thomas okay, Whitlock. Yeah, I'm talking about Tom Dark. He knows. Your, um, <laughs> Damn, you know my Probably his skin shit. tone. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. My there's Tom, a couple niggas no. in the city you know by 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 Ooh. skin tone. Oh, skin tone. Oh, yeah, yeah, black ass Tom. Shout out to um Whitlock. He know. Y'all know Gary? You know. Who black ass Gary? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my nigga. Shout no, out Gary. My, my my bae knows Strickland. And he, <laughs> Strick, okay, yeah, yeah, he family with him. So yeah, he, my older he, yeah. Brother, yeah. 
Yeah. Shout out to him too. Yeah, shout out to Straight. Y'all smoking salty weed? Those you guys are about to have mad like we already give you cotton mouth. I know. <laughs> oh my god, baby. Right. <laughs> That's terrible. You know somebody selling that shit? Y'all yeah, know somebody selling that shit? You want us to plug the salt, man? Yeah, you know, yeah we gotta, we gotta know. I wanna find out. Like, yeah, what did you do? You know what? What did you do? What did you do? I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out on the ledge by myself. I'm gonna say it's the Rican niggas. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the Rican niggas. I know it's the Rican niggas. I know it's them. Finesse in anything. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. He said, Papa, I bless you. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> I come with a Honda spoil. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> guys, fucked up. That's fucked up. So, uh, where were you born? You were, you were born out in Jamaica or over here? I was born in Springfield, right in, right in Bay State. Oh, where? You been out to Jamaica? Yeah, I used to go when I was a kid like twice a year for like... Maybe till I was up to like 14. Chill out there. Definitely love the vibe, but I ain't been to the island in a minute. But my older brother, who's an artist, he, he comes back and forth sometimes. So now I got a younger brother who lives out here too. So I still keep in touch with my roots and shit like that. Word. Favorite Jamaican dish? Huh? Favorite Jamaican dish? Kind of rubbery to me. Nah. I guess I can see that. Yeah. yeah. I get what you mean. I yeah. I was, I was <laughs> grew up, right? Like, yeah. Grew up with it. Nah, that nigga ain't cooking long enough. Yeah, that's another thing. Well, so it was from the, the Lo, Lo, Lo Dominicanos. So. Oh. So you, I mean, was, you, yeah, how you, yeah, wait. You gotta, you gotta get the Jamaican Because the Americans make, um, they yeah, they go make a lot of, their staple yeah. food, too. I love Dominican food, but... They I got love some my island food, food, too. Like, yeah. Man, I love that Jamaican food, so you got to try it. Why do make it be masked in you with the, with the oxtail gravy? Yeah, I'll be I having the extra, same... I extra, 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 extra. I want my shit, like, so... You got to know the people, because I, I, I don't got no problems. I don't got those problems. Nah, I be having them problems. Yeah. I don't even talk street pop, I don't even talk pop. Maybe not trying to bless us at all, <laughs> gravy, just hot no gravy. That's crazy. What you mean? <laughs> I feel that. They ain't got no more. They ain't got no more gravy. Yeah, so I'm calling them niggas at the end of the night, y'all. I know. Trying to get them late night plates. The hell no! You go there. You know when to go. You know when the food is going to be fresh. An hour after they open. <laughs> that thing is open at ten. You better be there for eleven o three. You want your food fresh? <laughs> you want everything fresh? Right? That's the only time you getting goat, nigga. Yeah. <sighs> Yo. What? The few spots that sell curry shrimp and shit? That shit is like available for one hour. One yeah, that hour. Curry, yeah, that shrimp be gone. It's uh, good, though. So uh, so even ask this. Where's your favorite spot to grab Jamaican food from? Tasties. Mm. Springfield, I'm going yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna have to I'm go going yeah. I never had their food. If, if what? Oh, yeah, you never bugging. had their food. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. Cuz honestly like for me it's different like, you know what I mean? I got I got family that cook my food, so that's that's yeah. where I would go. But if mm -hmm. I leave outside of it, I'm going to yard. Yeah. I fuck with D&G too, you know what I mean? D&G for the soups and shit, but Yeah. They yard used to food. Be right. Yeah. Yeah. Yard food definitely where it's at. And they be hooking it up with the gravy, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> all about that extra that's gravy, y'all. Y'all yeah, yeah, want to wait for that extra gravy on your fucking plates, man. Yeah, they be, Even, yo, you go to New York, like, nigga. Yeah, New York got the... They're not giving you extra gravy. You ain't got to get extra mm. shit. No. <laughs> you got you to gotta feed fucking 8 yeah. billion people. Yeah, facts. I niggas ain't getting extra nata. <laughs> we count the exact green of rice they put into the plate. Facts. They wait. Only one dumpling, <laughs> one dumpling, one plant. Yo, <laughs> Malay put this in a group, right? She said, I don't even think, no, she she posted something like this. She said, a weed man gave her extra weed. And she was like, should I call the person back? For like, what? Well, I don't know, what do you mean? Like, like, did you make a mistake type shit? Like, yeah. what is you doing, Malay? I've never done that. Malay. I've been called back. Like, yo, nigga, I gave you the wrong pack, like. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> no mind. Yeah. Give you twenty five dollars. Yeah. Like, like, clearly an ounce, man. <laughs> I'm gonna just it. <laughs> no, I pull, pull back up. I got you right now. <laughs> 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 well, I ain't, I ain't even touch it. 
That's mad funny. Malay, you bugging. Nah. Yeah, nobody can name Wee Bang on Malay. Nah, you know what that means, though. You know his intentions. He, he threw the salt. <laughs> no, no, right. He threw, he threw the, the salt on this shit. Yeah, yeah, salt there. <laughs> Definitely threw the salt on that. Yeah, That's dude. crazy. Salt sales is final. Anytime, anytime <laughs> Facts. a nigga gives a female extra weed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a yeah. That's a fact. He, you know, trying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Who called that nigga? He thirsty. He thirsty. You know I don't like going to him. Nah, but he blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Gave a whole O for twenty five. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, D, I remember seeing you perform at the Big E. How was that? Yeah, that was pretty straight. I mean, it, never it, seen anybody from Springfield besides um Schnick and them. Shout out to Lil Schnick. And Mulatto do some shit up there. And Mulatto do some shit there. Other know. than that, I don't remember anybody else doing that. And I feel that's huge. Be from Springfield? Yeah. yeah, you would want to perform at the Big East. Did right? you just say huge? Yeah, huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pause? <laughs> nah, I just thought yeah. Donald Trump was just for me. No. <laughs> nah, but um, that was definitely a blessing. Um, shout out to my homegirl, Lex. She kind of set that up for me. But um, yeah, that was a, that was a blessing. Um, it felt good. I mean, it, it rained. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was kind of like, uh, so the turnout that it could have been, but I definitely enjoyed my time doing that. And I, anytime I touch a stage, whether big or small, I enjoy doing it. So it's just. You have a favorite performance? That I, that me personally. Yeah, that you've um, done. And where was that at? Uh, let's see. Like, I never really thought about that. That's like, crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess um I. I'll say SOBs in New York just because that's like it's SOBs it's in New SOBs York. in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. yeah. And the conversation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> that that was an experience and like, you know, New Yorkers don't really be they don't really be fucking with no one. They they in the crowd still face like uh, <laughs> Where were you where were you at when you performed just a little? That clip I seen the whole crowd rocking, singing this singing everything, word for word with you. It was oh, a clip you posted. It's probably Northampton. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm asking saying, you, nigga. Was it like a? Sm- it was like a. I don't know. It seemed packed, and it seemed oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. everybody with yeah, everybody. I was Northampton. I was pretty lit too. Yeah, everybody turned up for that. So that's ill. That was dope. That was ill. And, and what's crazy because um at the Boston show, he came up to me. He was like, "Yo, should I perform just a little?" And I was like, "Nigga, yeah," because I thought about that moment instantly yeah. as soon as you said that, and you were like, "Nah, this might not be the crowd for it." I snapped and looked. It's like, yeah, you right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you right. It's a female song, no? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, not really, nah. Nah, there was no females there. Nah. Damn. Like, <laughs> that's, a, that, yeah. that's a female bop, no matter who, what yeah, female. Yeah, right. like, <laughs> that's a bunch of niggas. <laughs> 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 I want to chill with him just a little, man. <laughs> <laughs> That shit is dumb <laughs> funny. That was ill. That, that whole that whole set was ill. Shout out Chris Lombardi again. Yo, his name keep getting brought up, yo, because he set that up. Because of that fucking, I ended up playing a lot of local music out there, and then it turned into the photo shit. Early shit ever. I like shit. Yeah, he got a different sound. I, I said that. I said that last week to Stevie. Um, everybody in here, I thought that that or pretty much touched these mics in here. Like, God has their own sound. Y'all, nobody here sounds like the next person, or nobody here. Want, well, from what I hear, I'm pretty sure they do come through. Um, people that want to sound like a down south nigga, like you guys all have your own sound, shit like that. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, as, I mean, Dilly kind of give people to like. I, I can only speak. Well, I can speak for how a couple How did you even artists, end up here? How did I end up here? Random, super random. I was rapping with my boy uh, Yusuf. You know, I don't know if you guys know Yusuf. He's a designer, fashion designer. He's from Springfield, but we used to rap together. That's how I started rapping. And um, he stopped rapping, but then I, some like my boy from high school. He really, he really isn't like my boy like that. Like we're we're cool, but he's not like my. Like, we don't talk right now, you know what I mean? But he actually came here and he was like, yo, I just went to this dope-ass studio. You should check it out. And I came here and 
I recorded a whole like little mixtape here. It wasn't even mixed or mastered or nothing, but it sounds so good. <laughs> I just put that shit out, and then like a couple, of, maybe like a year later, like once I really got me and John got close and we built the relationship, he was like, I was like, yeah, man, that first shit sound good. And he was like, yo, that wasn't even mixed or like. <laughs> He's like, I was wondering why you put that out. <laughs> 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 I thought I was on like the sound. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never heard myself in that light. You know what I mean? Weird. So it was, it was it's tough. So nice so, thing. Yeah. What do you mean? How do you like your your studio sessions? Like you like them packed? You like to be dolo? Like it don't matter. Lights on, lights off. Bro, I come here and like I come clock here, like, in. Yeah, mm. be everybody here. You know what I mean? Because every once once it gets like eight or nine or like nine, like niggas is pulling up trying to get their time in. I figured if I come at six, I'm here by myself. I mean, it doesn't really matter, like, the like the vibe. Right. You record yourself? Yeah, yep. No word. I seen you guys were um, in Foxwoods. What was going on? I seen y'all no, was recording. You was in Mohegan acting Oh, Mohegan, Mohegan. Mohegan <laughs> yeah, Mohegan with my boy Bucky Nugs and um, uh, Steve was, was there. Decomposer was yeah, there. Decomposer. Apollo was there. Who he, he actually made a couple beats. That's, like, the first producer I started working with. But uh, it, was, it was a good time. We was trying to make something happen. We made a couple of little songs, a couple of ideas, and had a fun time. We've uh, name dropped a, quite a few people, but yeah. <coughs> you don't have any features, really. Nah, yo, know, cause I just be so. He be on people's songs. Yeah, but don't <laughs> got. People don't be on his songs. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about that. What's going on with that? Sometimes that's just how y'all move. Sense, you know what I mean? Because I feel like. Yo, when on an album, especially like on an album, like I'll be in a different zone. So it's like pretty much anything I wanted to say. Like that's why it kind of takes me a, a long time to put it out because I want to make sure everything is like cohesive and it's like what I'm trying to get across, like the point mm -hmm. I'm trying to get across. I feel like an album. I feel like most albums you shouldn't you, you shouldn't have any features. Like it's an album is personal. It's like what you went through. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you got like one okay. or two features, but it's like it's personal to yeah. me. Like, Maybe an EP, I, well, I, really, I can't even say that. I don't have music with anyone, but I'll be on other motherfuckers. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just because I, I like, I'm here all the time, you know, like, I'm, uh, I'll be locked in. I don't think I've tracks. seen a feature on any of your tracks. Yeah. None. Nah, yeah, that's a fact. They don't need them. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Nah, you yeah. are your own feature, fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can manipulate my voice yeah. so much, so it's like, I feel like that's the greatest, my greatest strength. Did, in my greatest instrument. You know? Did that come from Kendrick, or is that you just fucking around? Was it South an influence? Nah, so nah, so I'll tell you that. Like, bro, I'm so at the time I started making music, I'm so new at it. Like, I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know anything. So all this shit is super, it's new, it's exciting. So it's like I don't even know. I can use my voice a different mm -hmm. way until I hear this artist using his voice, That's, like Kendrick. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, did this, he, you can do that? Like, I didn't even know you can do that. <laughs> so, like, yeah, all right, bet. Like, I'm about to fucking try to fucking mm -hmm. do some crazy shit with my voice. That's, like, that's your instrument. Yeah. Nigga like Young Thug is yeah. one of my favorites. Fucks. And because he uses, why you? Not mine. Don't be, don't be, don't be, he's not one of my favorites. His cadences be but, fire, yo. All right, thank you. I would say a lot of people like flowers. don't give Cuddy enough credit. Like Cuddy's mm. my guy, and like without like Cuddy, Cuddy being so different yep, and tapped in pockets, to yeah. a different he had a world. Cold following though, he, does. Nah, he, he does. Have, does. He has a cult following, but like he doesn't have he has a, he doesn't have number one song yeah, on the radio. Pretty, you know what I mean? Like he just kind of like he's Cuddy. You know what I mean? But like if you ask any artist. You can probably ask any artist in the game right now, and they probably tell you Cuddy's an influence. I think that, but he's just so different. Like he, he made it cool to like dare to be different, like and and certain songs and pockets and shit. Like, yeah, I can agree. So I fuck with Cuddy. Who else is an influence? Fuck with Kanye. Kanye, like that's my guy. I feel like Kanye. I mean, he be doing a lot of bullshit now, but like you know, he like he got the press the best discography out of any artist. You got five classics in a row to me. You know what I mean? I can agree to that. Yeah, you got college Anybody dropout, wants to debate? late registration, mm -hmm. graduation, 808s, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Like, you got five rings. Like, not a lot of artists can say that. You got 22 Grammys. You got more than Mike. You know what I mean? Nah, he's a rapper. You know what I mean? So it's like... 
And then, like, when he, anytime he, like, that's why I try to make shit cohesive because, like, anytime he drops, like, it's a whole aesthetic, like, from his outfits to, like, the, the album cover to, like, how the songs are ordered. So that's why I fuck with Ye so much. I fuck with Hov. Because, mm. like, if you don't fuck with Hov, like, I'm Yeah, what's wrong with you? Like, You're not listening. Like, I ain't even bothered. Uh, yeah, Big Sean. Big Sean is probably the reason why I even rap because, like, on some, like, he was signed to Ye, Ye, my favorite artist. I've been listening to Big Sean since, like, 08, and he was just doing mad. Were you, did you go to the show out here when he came to take a piece? Yeah, I did. I was out there. Shout out to my boy, Jason. <coughs> we went out there. Was like, we went to go see Big Sean. Yeah, he's, doing, he's <laughs> at Mads Cap. Max Cap yep. Yeah, I ended up rapping for him that night, and then that's what, that's what really made me tap, tap in, because I'm like, what? You know. I'm not signed. <laughs> I'm not going in. I'm, I'm dope, nigga. Fuck you, me. Crazy. After that show at Max Cap, the next couple of days later, he drops that single with Chris Brown. Blows up. Blows up. Blows up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Blows up. Blows up. Fact. That's a fact. So I'm glad I'm not the only one who noticed or seen that. Yeah. But yep. Nah, he blew up after mm-hmm. that, and it was it was dope for me to even see like that that moment right there, kind of like changed my life because it was like damn packed house yeah it was like that shit was packed you wouldn't even think that many people knew of Big Sean and then like two days later he drives my last and mm-hmm. then he just takes off I'm like oh this shit really possible mm-hmm. I you, even heard that song in a minute yeah he's someone who was like you know what's crazy y'all say that song with Chris Brown I'm like what song with Chris Brown what song with Chris Brown what song with Chris Brown and he was like my last oh yeah. my god I, think about it. I haven't heard that song in forever beat yeah. was fire everything uh, that shit was pretty tough. Reason that made a lot of niggas' careers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hell yeah. This is this kind of goes into. Too. Would you pay for a feature? And if so, Drake too. Right here, right now. Like we talking about pay for a feature, like someone. Like, oh, somebody on. Somebody on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yo, this people have like this misperception. Like this shit don't take money. Like. All this shit is perspective and perception. Like, we're all this shit. that right now. At this very moment, these three people in this room, we're learning that this shit takes money. Yeah. 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 It takes money because. <laughs> keep looking at that light. Look, like, keep looking at that fucking wall. <laughs> yeah. money. Keep looking at that light. Uh, like yeah, nah, because this shit is like people. <coughs> we live in a. We live in a. a I like. I, I be saying people made Toy Story rap. Like, we live in a Toy Story fucking world. Music can be great. Like, I feel like. I don't feel like anybody makes better music than me. That's just, that's how I feel, period. So when I see my shit not like, you know what I mean? It's because I see like people, it's a clout world that we live in, bro. Like if you're not playing the game, you're going to lose. It's as simple as that, like period. Like it doesn't matter how dope you are. Like you're not going to build like that cult following that people, that people used to be able to grab. Like that's just really what it is. So. This is a conversation yeah, we've been having. We've been having uh, in the groups, yeah. but this ain't this ain't this ain't got to do with you because you don't, you're not like this publicly, like like on your social medias. From what I see, and I do local artists that boast publicly actually make good music. No, I and like to the point where the artists that did do it, I don't remember who they are. I don't remember doing it. I can't think of one. When, when, Good look, artists who just, just think about the people we listen to. Did you ever see some clown shit from anybody? No. no. And that, this ends the conversation right no. now. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah. They let the music speak for itself. Yeah. But, and that's the thing, like, yo, I think that's the, you know what I mean? Like, an artist would invest into, like, mad bottles. Whatever the case is, I'm just like, yo, you got to kind of, I'm not going to say that's the wrong investment. It's not. Like, if you got that to invest into that, that's cool. But I'm just saying your return from that is not going to be good because nobody cares about that if what they see is like, yo, you got this whole lit life. Got 1,000 followers, 3,000 followers. No one cares. Like, And it's sad because the music can't speak. The music no longer speaks for itself mm-hmm. in this day and age. I wish it could, like, I, I wish it was that way, you know what I mean, I think I seen Beyonce doing doing the interview, and she was like, 
she she definitely she goat, but you know what I mean. She one of the goats, but you know what I mean. Like she was saying, like artists don't even make albums anymore. Like they don't have any concepts. Like and that's true. Like you got. We are uh, living in the microwave era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like look at someone like Drake. Pop Drake, in, pop out. Drake, the biggest artist mm-hmm. right now. When's the last time he had a concept with an album? I would say that one with the sky in the background. Yeah, and nothing was the same, picture. right? Yeah. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's a classic album of his. <coughs> and the one before that, Take Care, classic album. But since he figured out, like, yo, the attention span of these motherfuckers since is Since he figured like, out the formula. He's like, I'm about to make a playlist mm-hmm. of views. I'm about to drop 20-some songs, and they're going to be just hits. And that's the world we live in, because we live in a single world, like... So, like, this coronavirus, like, this should kind of help motherfuckers because nobody can turn up and be in the club. So, you got to kind of fuck with music. You got to, like, <coughs> you know what I mean? That's why artist number streams are going down because it's like, well, I'm not in the club. I don't want to have I a headache. I that right bullshit, now. right. You know what I mean? I got a headache. All right. So, it's like, I don't know. Do you sign to a label or independence try, it, trying to be, like, the way you trying, trying to stay that way? I'm trying to stay independent for sure, like, I don't want anybody hands on. It's, it's a I'm a I'm a, a God fearing man, you know. And like this music industry is like a different type of industry. Just entertainment industry in general is like a different industry. People have wrong intentions and I don't know what people believe in. I'd rather just keep the people I'm with around close and, and try to make something pop with that. Word. Thanks. Fifty K straight to your bank account or a half a million in pennies, but you cannot convert the pennies. What are you yeah. taking? You cannot convert the pennies. Yeah, I really hate pennies, though. A half a million. So I just gotta pay everybody in pennies. Yep. Oh, I can't like, put it in the look. bank. I can't. Yeah, I can't put it. Now nah, you can't convert it. You can't convert it. I'm paying people like hey, shit. I, yeah. I, I, I take, I'm taking the bread. You know what we do? Shit. You know what we do? We go to the bank. We get the those little. Yeah. 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 So I got paid for yeah. 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 bitches is? Yeah. You about to pay a couple of people. Yeah. Yeah. I have a million, million. Half a mil. We'll break it down. In pennies. Yeah. Hey, I'm taking that half a mil. I need that. <laughs> in I, need, I need I don't care what it's in. Like. <laughs> <laughs> people make 50K every year. You I'm have not. machines that can sit there and count pennies. Yeah. And, uh, coins and shit. Like, give me you got to buy one of those in all pennies. Yeah, why can't I convert it though? That's just the that's just yeah. The, it's just a question. You that's put the too rule. Many stipulations you're gonna have <laughs> because <laughs> that's the I first thing you're gonna go to. Comes up with another new rule. All right, what are nah. you what are you doing? <laughs> Damn, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably take it. Uh, nah, I hate pennies, bro. I'll probably just take it that fifty one k right now. Yo, but how are the pennies given to me? Like, are they already in the rolls, or is it just a pile of pennies? Oh fuck it! Give out the stipulation. A motherfucking. A dump truck coming. <laughs> just dump that shit on your front lawn. I can pay someone 50k to to roll that up for me. Mm. In oh, pennies, God. they just got a year. I don't gotta do it. Yeah. Somebody gotta do it. The dump truck. Imagine the videos. I'm buying that dump truck too. <laughs> yeah. Niggas be flashing <laughs> bad pennies. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a wave. That's mad money. Yeah, I'm taking. That's a lot of money. I'm taking that half. For sure, 50k really. Ain't. You ain't gotta worry about 50k ain't you. shit. 50k ain't no. 50k is no money. Nothing. You ain't gotta worry about nobody robbing you. You gotta have a million pennies. Oh yeah, they gonna be too tight. Like, yeah, That's just mad heavy. They ain't running up on you. Give me all those fucking pennies, nigga. Give me all those fucking pennies, but I know what you sitting on. Get a nigga ten dollars, like, huh? How he know I really gave him. All that money. He don't know what right. you gave me. I know. I'm going to give you one big ass trash bag of pennies, nigga. Huh? Right. I'm saying. $10, nigga. Hey, like break. here. <laughs> $10 of pennies. Mad pennies, son. That's crazy. Y'all see the brats of lesbian? Yeah. Yeah. I thought we've been there. Right. The brat? Yeah. yeah. This is new, nigga. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nah, yeah, they, 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 they That's why these celebrities hate them. They do. They just be fucking so for yeah, some shit. Hell yeah. That's crazy. How much you charging for features? Um, Seven hundred. <laughs> what he said. Nah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It all depends on like, yo. I'm a music person first, so if the music makes sense, and I feel like we can we can do something more without without any any payments or whatever we figure out, I would I'd rather do it that way. Like, but if the music is not for me, you just want me to hop on a the verse or a hook or whatever it is that you want me to do, I'm taxing. If it's like, if it's one of my boys that That's I already, already did some shit with, I'll show love and I'll, you know what I mean? But it, it all depends. Like, it just really no set number. It just all depends on like, if I feel the music, cause I, you can't really put a price on a vibe. Like if it, the vibe is there and the song Word. is tough, like the music is more important than the, the money at that point to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Get that money. You're good enough, <laughs> you know. And it's just not you. Like there's other people who feel like, oh, I don't want to do a song because they're not like on my level. Nigga, pay for that. I need money. You yeah. want my time and you want my verse. You got to pay for it because Shit. you know, like that's that's how you're gonna come up. The reasons why people do arguments for Lil Wayne was how many features that motherfucker did in that short amount of time. Like he didn't give a fuck. Like, he made mad money. He saw features. So that's the thing too Then you kind of like Stretching yourself Then as an artist You're just mm-hmm. doing shit For money Yeah And that's yeah, yeah. That's my That's my that's argument right. Against Wayne For being like That way that, For every the For every bad feature Cause yeah. he's had a lot Of good ones Yeah for, that, But for every But that's the catch one too songs. What if you do the, the The 10 And the artist Is a 3 and you keep hopping on them That's tracks. every Drake it, song. No, that's every tracks. Drake feature. So you're a 10 and the artist is a 3. You're it, it, it 10 It depends on two. what kind of 3 the you're artist is. 10 artist is 1. If the, if the artist is a, a terrible, terrible 3, then your 10 doesn't really look that good. Because you're probably yeah. saying some mm-hmm. bullshit. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like It ain't even yeah. no reason to be hopping on yeah, them exactly. tracks. Even if the bread is involved. Like, yeah. I'm hopping on it just because you're giving me this bag. But you trash. <laughs> and you that'd be, be Wayne, you for every three songs he got. Hey, you being that he bad. got hey. he got like five bad ones because he just he's the reason why people make so much music today. Yeah, he's, he, you know what I mean. He's the goat. He's the influence of today. He's the reason why like Wayne. Like, rappers you know, are rappers. Yeah. Period. Tight yeah. jeans, colorful dress. dress. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. have no yeah. drugs. I don't Every have day. my drugs. All, all, all the dr- <laughs> all the drugs, motherfuckers <laughs> doing now. Yeah, exactly. It's Wayne. Wayne influence and Wayne is nice as fuck, but that's just my problem. <clears> man. He just he just be. The jury out. Yeah. The jury out on that nice as fuck. But I feel him. That it makes sense to why he was taking the money because he in a terrible situation with Birdman. You know what I mean? So it makes sense why he was doing all this. Now that you look at it, huh? Yeah. Now that you look back at it, like that makes sense. I um, wonder if it did a fire ass feature, and then the artist then dropped the song. Yo, that absolutely just happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely just happened to me. I'm going to call him out because he's my boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. I hope he's watching it right now. <laughs> Two tails. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, Two tails. Yo, you're going to tag, 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 tag two tails. He's going to tag me. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah. He just did that. Yeah. I gave him... How it went too is like I was just doing like I was just doing a verse. I was doing like a little oh, freestyle right situation, and he came in. He was like, "Yo, this shit is tough." And I was like, "I got it." Like he he's like, "Yo, I hear what well, we gonna do in future." He's like, "Yo, I hear some shit." He did his shit. I was like, "Bro, honestly, I wasn't really gonna do anything with this." And then he's like, "Can I have it?" I'm like, "Sure, have it." Cause that's Tills was like before any like Tills been rocking with me since like forever. For a long time, he's like, he's like my, you know, what I mean, he's cool. Like that's that's my guy. So like, that's why I don't care about telling the story because he's gonna see this and probably laugh. <laughs> but like, yeah, I gave him the song. He's like, yeah, this, I mean, this is my only feature on my album. I hear the album. I'm like, damn, you ain't even put my shit out. Ooh. He's like, yo, D ran my dad, bro. Ah. Man. But we we probably got some shit going on anyway. Like me and him, he's Haitian. I'm Jamaican, so we. We got a couple songs together, so we definitely gonna get in the bag and probably drop like an EP or some shit. Okay. Word. Um, I asked this question last week, but I want to hear another artist. For that's that's in the area. 
Uh, do you have any complaints about nine three seven? You you feel like they they fuck with anybody really? I don't even listen to the radio. I barely even listen to music. Word. Uh, Everybody uh, done said this shit. Don't listen to the radio no more. Except for the music part. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'd be listening to the nature. <laughs> but I know they definitely don't be showing no love. Like I, I just know that through the years of just listening. They definitely don't show any Springfield artists any love like that from what I, you know, what I've, what I've heard or whatever. Yeah, I can't so. name anything. Yeah, so. Yeah. I'm trying to think the only I don't yeah, I don't know any artist that's been on the radio from Springfield or four one three. Maybe probably like SK and M. Maybe I don't I don't know. I just would assume that song that you know what I mean, that song that they have would have It's called Snooty, which yeah. is I don't even classic. That's what I'm saying. You know like, what I mean? You know what I mean? That's just that's that's really. No, you know what I mean? I wasn't I wasn't trying I wasn't trying to say it like that, but like, no, 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 yeah, but like yeah, that about. that song probably should have been on the radio. Drinking. You know what I mean? I'm not like, sure if it, yeah, it got played. Yeah, like, on the radio. That was either. Bro, like that's the thing, bro. I feel like yo Springfield, bro. Like yo, they be people be hating on us. Like we got we got a lot of talent. We be hating on ourselves. Yeah, that's hey, the problem. Look, like, this is how I feel. If you ain't willing to build your neighbor up. Yeah. I feel like Boston niggas ain't fucking with Springfield niggas. I don't listen enough to it to judge. Yeah. They probably I, got I, the same I'm shit. Just no, off it's likewise. Alone, I mean, Springfield no, niggas no, listen off, to Boston no, niggas. Me alone, off the You're Mad Creative, nah, bro. Nah. Like, there's hella creative people from Springfield. And I, I just named you, you and I, bro. But, like, there's hella talent out there. You got, you got Swan. We got Darius, who's mm. nice. Word. Let me try to think. Blake, Blake is nice. Facts. Um, like they're just mad people. That's just the name of few. You know what I mean? There's mad people. Sam, like, Fave in a nice. room right there. Yeah, he's nice. You know what I mean? Like I'm not even really big on. I don't listen to anybody. So like when when y'all doing the for the culture mm-hmm. and I'm hearing artists and shit, this is my first time hearing something. I'm like, yo, this shit tough. Like, I ain't mm-hmm. even know. You know what I mean? So it's like we have Mad like talent, yeah. and it's like even sh- yo Shamrock, Shamrock nice. I'm not even Q going nice. front. I'm yeah, surprised. Yeah, this shit, the me like I knew there was Mad talent out here, but ever since doing the Forty Culture shit, like every week is like yo, it's a vibe every week. Yeah. This shit through and through is dope as fuck. You, you remember them Zoom meetings, right? Mm-hmm. What, was, what was we saying about the DJs not playing shit, and they ain't, they ain't, they ain't know what was all out here, right? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. You know what it is too. A lot of the like, you know, DJs are probably like the the most important to the music industry. Like that's D music was only coming out because of the DJ. Mm-hmm. So the DJ wasn't that, playing like the now. hits. Mm-hmm. They were playing like were new artists. shit. There, yo, I got this new. Yo, you got that. I got this. You know now what I mean? And that's kind of how competitive. Yeah. This is what's hot, so I'm not even gonna try nothing that that's not proven hot. But it's kind of like the radio. It's it's a clout world, bro. The world switched to like a clout based world, and it's like, yo, that artist, but he nice, but he don't got the this, this, and that. So I'm mm-hmm. gonna just do this, this, and that. Or you gotta. It's crazy because you know I, mean? I be doing that same type of shit when I hear other DJs play. Because I'm like, damn, you a whole sellout for playing that track. Like you should never. You, why why do you do that? Like I don't even understand why you went into that. Like. Mm-mm. Yeah, don't, no, it don't. don't make sense. And yeah, you you show hella love, like just even showing like, you know, I wouldn't, I literally wouldn't know <coughs> a lot of the artists that I know if you wasn't spending them. Right. You know I mean, I'm not, I'm not tuned in all the time because, like I said, I'm be trying to listen to music in general. But when I do tune in, I'm hearing, I'm, you, you see me on comment, I'm like, yo, mm-hmm, who's this? Mm-hmm. Like, what's that? This is fire. Like, tag this person's name, like, cause I, I like hearing, I like mm-hmm. the city being talented. You know what I mean? So, and that's the thing. My thing is not. It's not even really, like, a battle to me. Like, the guys know how I am. Like, I'm really passionate about this music shit. Like, I really love it. So I like to introduce people to different sounds. And you see it in the Facts. comments. Everybody's like, yo, who's this? Who's this? Facts. Like, yo, like, let's do a song together. Or Facts. I hope that's what transpired after each live ended. Facts. Like, Hell all yeah. people Facts. reached out to each other. And they were like, yo, let's put something together. Like, Facts. You that's what I want out of it. In the last that's one, what I want out of Swan it. with the yeah. slime pole. You know, like, it's like, it's like it's a celebration. Like Timberland and them said, you know, mm-hmm. the celebration. We celebrating. This is what we doing. We celebrating. Because as soon as I seen that, I didn't want to mention it like while I'm spinning, but I seen the comment while it went up. I was like, oh shit, Swan fucking said he wanted a slime pole beat. Like, oh mm-hmm. damn, he Swan on a slime pole beat. Mm-hmm. That would be amazing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That type of love that we kind of need because I feel like everybody kind of just where we from 
for, first, we from the north. Ain't no, mm-hmm. ain't much salt and sun up here, so we all kind of cold. Like we not ah, ah, buddy, buddy. Like it's not mm-hmm. like that for us. Like cold, and the second, we kind of just be looking <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you can do that. I can do it better. Like, I don't need you to do that. Like that's and I think. It's, just, it's like what you said. It's not really a competition. Like, really, you only supposed to be competing with the man in the mirror. Like, mm-hmm. that's your only comp. You like, only got people talk. better than is, the man from yesterday. Is that why you don't listen to other music? Is that why? Is it, I feel like you said it more than once, and you have this sound. You have your craft so honed in, so like perfected. So it's like you. You only listen to yourself. You only listen to people out here. Do you, like, what? What is it? You gotta listen to your guys. I don't listen to nobody. Like I, I listen to them, like, cause I mean, like, I, if they show me a song, but like, and I, I download the album, all that, like, you know what I mean. But I'm not gonna like. <coughs> You're not streaming it. I don't stream nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they can't come back. They can't come back. I got literally no music. He said, "Niggas trying to catch me up like, and give me." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who you listen to? I don't listen to my niggas now. Nah, like, nah, nah, them too. Like, nobody. If anything, like, I'm more listening to like alternative music, man. Like, just some different sounds. Like, and, there's a group like uh, Last Dinosaurs that I listen to. They're from Australia. They're like alternative rock. Like, but it's just a different vibe. I listen to Toro Imoy, like Tame Impala. Like, but I, but I don't even really listen to that. Like, I listen to rap. I listen to rap. Like, if Kanye drop an album, I'm, I'm jumping. I don't care. Like, cause I know the beats are gonna be crazy, and I'm listening to a Hov album. I'm listening to a Cudi album. I'm listening to a Sean album. But like. I can't wait for that Sean album. Yeah, facts, but, like, I don't really like. I just be. I literally listen to nature, dog. Like, I roll the windows down, <laughs> and be on some nature shit, and then I be freestyling in the whip, and then I come to the studio, and then I try to make whatever I feel like. I don't even write. I don't write, so you know what I mean. I just go in the booth. Mm-hmm. Like, in 2016, I was like, I'm not. I'm about to just challenge myself because like Hope was like, I don't write. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was like, I don't write. Wayne was like, he don't write. So mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck it. I'm not writing. Y'all niggas is nice as hell. I'm not about to write. So I just got for four years. I haven't been writing. I respect your craft. I respect that even more now. Like how you like the creativity that comes out of on the spot type shit. You just being in the studio for you to be like that. Because I like asking, when are you most creative? You fucking told us the answer without fucking telling us. It's in the fucking studio. I'll be here since I am. That's probably my most creative. Probably like, yo, uh, Sometimes I'll be in a session, they making a beat, I'll fall asleep, wake mm-hmm. up, hear some shit, and then I'll be that's what I heard. Like, so, Wait, you know. But there's, there's different levels to not writing, though. Because there's, like, the level, like, you, Jay, and then there's other levels, like these young kids that don't write, and you can kind of tell. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I like think how that's what's heard in, that's what's heard in the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause then you listen to other people who actually do write. It's more cohesive. Mm-hmm. It flows better. You went. You went further with it. I was gonna know? talk about how uh, how Tory Tory did his i how did his IG lives or whatever. Like him recording the track, I just punch in. He just find the cadence and then fill the words in and just keep punching, keep punching, mm-hmm. keep punching. That's yeah. why I thought you were gonna go with it. I didn't think you was gonna talk about people that just freestyling and just be trash. Because yeah. no. that's what ultimately no. happens with no. yeah yeah that's yeah that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm I mean saying. I'm talking about both ways, but that's exactly that's the method they use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They still freestyling, but mm-hmm. they punching it in. Uh, da, da, da. wait, stop right there. Run it back. Yeah, they don't care about mm-hmm. no topic. Like punch mm-hmm. it in mm-hmm. and Dang. only there's certain levels. There's levels yeah. to this man. There's only certain mm-hmm. people that can do that and right. inspire. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like how Tory right does it on his live. That's kind of like yeah, that's like the type of. Mm-hmm. So I don't have nobody. I be in here by myself. So. Yo, no bullshit. You be on IG lives in here, fucking cooking, yeah. just dolo. Like, oh shit, this nigga. You, I definitely seen you recording. Yeah, I gotta run. I gotta run out the booth. And <laughs> That's ill. Yeah. You like recording yourself? Is it an easy process? Yeah, because I was like the whole reason. You don't I mix kinda, it though, right? No, nah, I don't mix it. John, John, do all that. I be trying to play around, but he, I would never put out a song that I mix. <laughs> So, yeah, John the Goat. But um, yeah, that's that was another reason why I can't. I kind of even moved back here too, cause I was like, I wasn't in the studio as much, and I'm like a studio. I don't want to say rat, cause I ain't no rat, but like 
I'm a studio head. I be here. Like, yeah, you so be in here all the time. I like being in here. I love the atmosphere. So like, I just if you here every week on a Tuesday, nigga, yeah. like <laughs> that's our excuse for being here. You be in here working. Yeah, most definitely because I don't, I don't want nobody out work me. Like, and I, I understand the concept of like I can be replaced, bro. Like, if you don't think you can be replaced, like, what are you working for? Like, you're not working. If you just if you think everything cool, you bugging. I know there's a, another artist out here. If I'm clocked in at 6 a.m., he clocked in at 5. Mm. And that pisses me off. You feel mm. me? I want to be here at 5. So sometimes I'll be getting here sooner. But, like, I don't know. That's just my mentality. I really love music. I got a strong passion for it. And then, like, when I first started, like, my family, my family now open. And real, I know I kind of just verge off. But, yeah, hey, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They, man, well, my uncle, my older brother, Strick, was like, nigga, you suck. You garbage. Like, that's how my family talked to me. Like, nigga, go to school. I thought you wanted to do this. Like, you mm, trash. Wow. And so then I made, like, my first little mixtape. And my uncle, <coughs> he, he he a truck driver, so he called me. And they left me a voicemail crying, like, yo, nephew, man, this shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> shit. So I'm like, yo, that shit, like, you know what I mean? It's like little that, shit. That oh, approval felt wrong. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, Tell me, I suck, bro. You bugging. <laughs> Word. Told you so. Yeah, it's like. Talk. Yeah, so. Let's talk about Don Dada. Your, your alter ego. Who's that guy? Yo, honestly. <laughs> you're here right now. Really, I, honestly, yo, Drake had that little six, 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 six. I'm like, yo, fuck that, man. Like, I, need, I need something that represents. No, but not like fuck his shit, but like, like <laughs> nah, fuck that, that nigga. I need something that represent me. Like, I don't know. I was really at this time. I was still smoking weed. Like, I was high as fuck in the studio. And I just, you don't smoke no more? Nah, I quit for a little bit. For a little bit, you know what I mean? I not forever, but for a little bit. Word. Yeah, get my mind right. But yeah, I was just in the studio high, high as hell, and I was just like, I just said it. I don't know. Like, I, I still got that first track where I first said it. It was like really I was trying to channel like more of my like my roots like my Jamaican roots I'm like I'm about to tap into that a lot more because I kind of tapped into it on my first album but I wanted to tap into it a little more like as far as like the raspiness of my voice type shit and like like be on like some Buju Bantam rap meets Barrington Levy like Bob Marley type shit like just mad just that influence so I was just in there tweaking really I was in the booth tweaking high tweaking <laughs> she was like Don Dada and that shit came out and I was like hold it hold it hold it hold it but just like in a Jamaican ass accent and then that shit just came out so I ran with it that's one of those things happened on accident <laughs> And then I just kept doing it, like you know what I mean? Like the watch out, everybody was just yeah. fucking with like, yo, that's just on top, so Yeah, that's where it came from. Word. You you really obsessed with tea? Yeah, I love tea, man. I love tea too. Yeah, I love tea. <laughs> I never even had <laughs> this this nigga, no Apple Ginger Tea is like I yeah, I said it was my favorite song for like a week. Yeah. <laughs> I changed I don't know how many times. But then you mentioned it in a couple other tracks too. Like, I always talk about tea. Like, I love tea. Like, I, like, nah, I love tea. It's just, I guess that's more like, I don't know, that's hella Jamaican. <laughs> oh, yeah. Know, like, that's some island shit. And my dad always had hella tea going on, whether it's mint tea, chocolate tea, like, whatever type of tea. So, yeah, that's like, I have a cup of tea every morning, to be honest. For sure. Somebody said banana Laffy Taffy tastes like lotion. I'm dumb mad. I I, know, why they know what lotion I tastes like? like? I, I love. Me too. That's the best yeah. ones. Yeah, really Fuck you mean? Sure. Those are the best I ones. With the strawberry one though too. The rest, yeah, the rest shit banging. <laughs> yellow shit good. Yeah, I ain't doing <laughs> 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 this. Crack. Grab them yellow ones first, boy. What you mean? You got all the green ones. Yeah, you don't like the green ones. I fuck with the green ones. I don't fuck with sour apple shit. Not green apple, nothing sour apple shit. That's weird. I'm like I'm like that too. Like I could bust down a whole lemon, but lemon flavored shit, I don't eat like or drink. I don't like lemonade. Like you could eat a whole lemon. I could bust down a whole lemon. 
Even like yeah, a I ain't never heard of yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like a coconut. Like I could eat the coconut, drink coconut water perfectly yeah, that's, fine. That's, that's but but coconut, but, coconut, yeah. but, <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah. yo, but it's the same yeah. shit. But no, coconut, coconut flavored things, I can't fuck with. It's just no, like, what the it. fuck is this? It don't. Yeah, real coconut. It don't taste like coconut flavored shit. Yeah, yeah, actual coconut. I could do that shit. Even a lemon, I could bust down a whole lemon, nigga. I never had a lemon. I'll bust down a lemon. On yeah. top of a piece of fish? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Not like... Yeah, but I said, I don't do that regularly. I said I could. You peel it first at least? <laughs> I mean, cut it like an orange, <laughs> nigga. Straight up, I swear. I swear to God, yo. That's how you peel it? <laughs> yup. That's different. Eat it whole. I swear to God, yo. That started we started with dumb shit, eating mad spicy shit as a young kid, eating mad sour oh, shit. Oh, fucking lemon. And then it was just that. It was like, this shit ain't oh. that sour. And then it just became nah, a thing. Lemon is, nigga. You're a nah, yo, it's just. A whole it's just, lemon yeah, I like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> I put the uh, Patron face on when I eat a lemon. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, bro. Nigga. Yeah. 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 Like yeah, we you can't like do that like challenge. Like you bite into yeah. it like I think we got to now. We got you. You fucked up. We got to now. You chew it like an orange? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, nigga, face turned, but it's like, it's good. <laughs> I'll probably throw up after two slices of lemon. For real? Yeah, that, uh, we got to do that. I only have lemon and water type shit. Like, I, only have, I never had lemon, like, by itself. Like a fruit, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that a big old <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn, I guess me and my brother is just weirdos, yeah, huh? Yeah, pretty. <laughs> Y'all put hot sauce on it? Nah, <laughs> that's so deep. Yeah, yeah, I love hot sauce. I do put hot sauce in everything, but hot sauce on a lemon, that's, that's yeah. crazy. You'll go viral doing that. Sit on the couch, eat a whole lemon with some hot sauce on it. It might. Just keep peeling lemons, eating them shits, pouring hot sauce on Nah, bro. That's you badass. Nah, nah, bro. I believe in you. Nah, bro. <laughs> I, I had tacos earlier today. Today, Tuesday, obviously, right? But I definitely put hot sauce on jalapenos. That's like yeah. all jalapenos ain't hot. Yeah, but that's like nothing. <laughs> I'm fucking with habaneros. Yeah. Like your food spicy? I assume so. No. It depends. You know, you know I like Indian. Food. You crazy? I like, I like oh, word. Food. Yeah, I like Indian food, but oh, I mean, I need my food hot. Yeah, I don't need every time spicy, I eat. You know what I mean? I don't. I need it hot, like temperature wise. Nah, I need my shit yeah, spicy. I need my, I need my shit spicy, spicy yeah, every time I eat. Yeah. Every single time shit. I eat. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's got to be spicy. Like, I'm one of them niggas. I just put hot sauce on anything. Yeah. I like my breakfast food spicy. Like, yeah. Nah. You got yeah. omelet, mad jalapenos, you know, like, mad like hot sauce. That, that, are, that already marinated. Like in yeah, food. but you put jalapenos and hot sauce mixed with other shit don't taste the that, same. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole new other flavor. Yeah. 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 Fuck that. I don't mind it spicy, but like, yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely Crazy. What are some things that y'all don't eat that everybody else does? Alright, so in my Hispanic household, oh my god, eat like um calamares. Calamari, which is like squid, mm-hmm. octopus, yeah. but it's not, it's not live, it's, it's already, <laughs> it's in a can, it says Goya, it's in a can, I will make like a rice. He said it's gross, because it's octopus. I don't eat that shit. Now, nah, when it's cooked, it's good, like, trust, like. I eat calamari, I never, yeah. I eat. I love seafood, it's my favorite type of food, I will never try that shit, ever in my life. You never have fried cooked? They fry calamari. Yeah, they fry nah, no. Just the what? thought of eating that shit just What's fucks me up. Tartar sauce. Oh my yeah, someone god. Gave you, if someone gave you calamari and you didn't know what it was, you would enjoy that. I probably would, and then never eat it again after that, this and then like be the mad lemon. as hell. It's like the yeah, lemon, lemon on the right, right, right. <laughs> right. 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 Lemon on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. No. That shit is gross, no. bro. You no. no. I agree with the church. Trash. I like calamari. Nah, not no calamari. I made it the other day too, and I thought about I thought about him. I was like, ah, be so <laughs> I ate anything else out the ocean. But That's... it got it got to be dead. I'm not with the crawling on the table. Yeah, nah, fuck that too. It's crazy. 
Yeah. Nah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> 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 them, them COVID niggas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk about my cousins like that, yeah. You got, you got COVID cousins? Nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, crazy. You tra- you travel like outside outside the uh, fucking Jamaica, outside of here. Yeah, I've been to Jamaica a couple times. That's, I'm sorry, outside of that. Outside of that, no, nah, I, I yeah. definitely need to go like worldwide. I kind of see myself more over like in, in Europe. You know yeah, I mean? kind of like UK music scene crazy. Yeah, I feel like just off of like you know American dark skin dude make music I'll probably make more be the guy anywhere be the guy that shit is crazy I feel like that would be a vibe for me but you know you gotta make it in the states though that's where that's where everybody want to come to anyway you know even I mean? the UK yeah. artists they want to come out here land of the and free but it's really the land of the bullshit home of the brave Home of the Brave? Yeah, Atlanta Braves. Yeah, that's what they say. Right. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you need to capitalize your home before moving on anywhere? No, absolutely not. Because when I went to that Big Sean concert, that's what really made me think about, like, that changed my whole perspective. He used to hang out with one of his, his dudes called Saint Saint Eight Tone. That was, like, his best friend. Oh, I remember that kid. What yeah. happened to him? Yo, I think he ended up getting into like some legal issues and that's kind of like where the fellow the, the fallout happened but like he was saying he was like man like we was in Detroit nobody was fucking with me and Sean like nobody was fucking with Sean so it wasn't until Sean moved to New York he started doing a little thing out there and then he came back home and then everybody was fucking with him and it was like the truth of it is is like people from your home is they're gonna show more hate than love like there's gonna be a few people that show love but it's gonna be a lot of hate because people can't fathom that you made it. Yeah, this person is doing something that I think I'm, I I should be doing. Or it's like people be having so many different strings. Like, oh, this person said this thing to me in high school, so I can't fuck with him. It's like, bro, that was like years ago, bro. Like, you still remember that? I'm not saying that happened to me, but I just think that's how most people think in a hometown. Like, I feel like if you ask any artist, an artist can be in New York and be like, I feel, feel like they can't pop off because that's their hometown. They feel like, man, I got to move to LA, I got to move to Atlanta or some shit. Literally, people in New York be saying that. It's like, nigga, you're in New York. Like, you don't need to move anywhere. You know, if you're popping in New York, you don't even have to be popping anywhere else because New York is so big. But, like, that's how people think. It's like the hometown is always hard to grasp because people know so much about you. And it's like, nobody really wants to see you doing better than them type of thing. That's a fact, though. People don't want to admit that, but that it, that definitely is a thing. Yeah. Definitely is a thing. For sure. You're you're not the only one who feels like that. Um, I heard that in the song too. Wasn't it um, T Swan song? Yeah. Same sentiments. Like, if I make it, like niggas is gonna be mad, low key, basically. Yeah. He said in that verse, and it's like. People do feel like that, like, yeah. I tell people, but that's why I have to be telling people, like, stop focusing, like, oh, why nobody share my shit? Like, who, don't focus on that, like, focus on just, like. Promoting it. Yeah, like. The people that do grasp yeah, it and like it are going to be the people little, that grasp it. Right, and then feed your Instagram, fans. Pay for the little promotion on Facebook. Creatives, it does work. Right. No one little fans, 10, 15, 20 bucks on it. Trust me, get a little traction going. Fuck these niggas, yo. Keep doing y'all, like. Money, so I'm saying, feed your fans. Stop oh, worrying about people who you shit. is mm-hmm. absolutely not going to fuck with you no matter what you say. Yeah, and that, that'd be the thing, too, is like, when people don't, it be so much pride in, like, I'm not paying for this, this, and that. But at the end of the day, like, you got to promote yourself. Like, that's literally what who you're trying to get signed to, that's what they're doing for the artists. Right. It's literally what they're doing for right. the artists. If you think that they're doing anything differently, you, do, you just got to research. Like, people don't pop off like that. No more, bro. It's just like this organic thing that happened, bro. That's why a lot of the artists are here today and gone tomorrow. Like, But if you're good, you got to stay there. Like, if you're going to stay there, you know what I mean? So it's like... You gotta invest into yourself. Like that's the biggest investment that you can. It's trial and error. You gotta try shit out. 
Oh, yeah. oh, it didn't work. I'm gonna try again. That's business. So you're gonna take risk and you're gonna take the losses. But if you're willing to take the losses, you're gonna gain some W's. So like, that's just what it is. A word. If you see your spouse's mother naked, do you tell them or keep it to yourself? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them like, I'm hey, what the fuck? Definitely see your mom naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But the awesome funny shit though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, that's crazy. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna tell her. Laugh, laugh at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn, I thought I was gonna get some different answers. Same shit. Or damn, I don't like y'all. <laughs> <coughs> um, what do you, what do you? Okay, first of all, I was gonna ask, what are your plans after COVID? But well, this shit's already over with. But uh, is it? Yeah. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. It's a bunch. But I feel like we should keep the drive-by birthdays a thing. Y'all don't think? Y'all don't agree? I think it's convenient. I'm talking about afterwards. Like <laughs> we don't we don't just, just drive the presents off in a box. We don't got to see you anymore. Like thank you. Don't have to feed you. Like yeah, no mess after. <sighs> I think I think there, there's some there's some positives out of this. You don't got a DJ. Hell yeah. <laughs> nah, I need that money. <laughs> <laughs> I need that so money. yeah, so you can't you can't you can't have the drop off though. Yeah, for my house, yeah, I don't got I don't I don't get paid to throw my own kids parties. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Obviously, that would have been wild. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you X amount. <laughs> right. Mad chores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be like that. Here, I need you guys to pick that weed right there by the curb. <laughs> Poor little kids. But do do you have any plans for the rest of the year? Or are you just uh, playing by ear, just ain't seeing what the hell's going on, wait for shit to open up. No, nah, I'm definitely gonna drop some more music. I'm gonna probably put out a couple, a few singles that I got. I'm sitting on. Um, visuals. Yeah, some more visuals. Um, um I got another EP. Like, how many tracks you uh, how many like, tracks you got on that? Mm. Well, all right, so yeah, I got I got a couple of things lined up. Me and Alpha are supposed to me and Alpha got like. I thought you just said he wasn't letting you nah, hear nah, shit. Nah, 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 but we because we've been. You know, we've been <laughs> yeah. Like he got a whole project with him. Fifty eight sessions. So God damn. We got enough, and um, me and John, I just got into a, a bag with Dilly. We got two songs that are tough, so my next EP or maybe album EP is probably gonna call it's gonna be called Trouble in Paradise. Like, so you know, where'd that come from? Therapy. I mean, that's probably why I needed therapy. You know, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of issues going on, like in my life, like you know, so uh, just like a lot of bullshit. You know what I mean? Fallout, fallouts with friends or like. You think they're fallouts or people just isolating themselves so they think you don't fuck with them or you don't fuck with, you know what I mean or they don't fuck with you it's just like weird shit so that in relationships you know what I mean I be wearing my heart on the sleeve so that's always gonna be like a topic and whatever project I put out um yeah pretty much that and then but I do wanna drop some fun shit I got a lot of rap shit that's about to come out cause niggas don't think I can rap no more <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why wow, your metaphors be crazy. Like, I just this is just how I feel. Like, all right, Dilly called me a singer songwriter the other day, and that made me tight. You know mm. I mean? He didn't mean no malice by it, you know what I mean? Because that's obviously that's my engineer, like I'm his artist type shit. But he said that, and I'm like, what? Like, bro, I can rap. Like, so it's just like, yo, I find any little thing to just be like, yo, nah, I'm gonna do this. So mm. I'm just in a rap mode right now. Mm. Been Word. Yeah. I'm excited. <coughs> I'm excited to hear some tunes. Is it possible for a grown ass man to get kidnapped? No, you're abducted. Uh, abducted. <laughs> yeah, that's how you say it. abducted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> grown ass men get taken. He's using, the right, he's using the right terminology in the yeah in yeah, the, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, oh, you're just saying in general. Yeah, I it was like a trick question. Like, nah, 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 nah. No, 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 you're right. You get, you get, you 
You might be right. But yeah, yeah. yo, that what the people that happened to people like they so motherfuckers. Yeah, for ransom, yeah, Damien yeah, Doobie like, is taking motherfuckers' bodies and organs and shit. So, I didn't even think about yeah. this when I wrote this down. Motherfuckers be body motherfuckers for organs. Yeah, yeah. That happened. It definitely happened. Yeah. yeah I mean, at one point, Cardi B was out here fucking drugging niggas and robbing them. I mean. Yeah. Me too. I was like, she's. Oh, yeah, she's <laughs> yeah. She got sex slaves. <laughs> what? She's crazy. Damn. Yeah. That's... Talking about that, did you guys see like that the, the disposition or whatever? Nope. The what? About Obama and Oprah and Ellen. Did... No. Nice. They're all like pedophiles and all this other stuff. No. <laughs> Obama was part of that list too. I heard it by the way. Hillary. They said, they said, notice how none of them are out there protesting. And I was like, my mind blew. I thought Obama would say some No, shit. he was not. He put out a statement. That's what I'm saying. I thought he said some shit. That's a statement. He's not out. Yeah, but he's none of them out there protesting. Yeah, like it, it honestly, nobody out there We were just talking about conspiracy theories. This yeah. is one of them. But I feel like they're yo, fun. He like him as a black man, as a first yeah. black president. Like someone would definitely kill him out there if he was out there protesting. I don't think what I don't think so. Yeah, bro. Like people hate Obama as much as we love as much as us. We love him. I think they would have been did it. Nigga was in office eight years. Mm-hmm. Nah, but they that's been it's, did it's it. hard to do that. They got his boy in there now. They, they no, got their boy they in there. They got the um, Secret Service after they leave office. So, like you said, it is hard it's to do super that. Hard yeah, that's to Obama. Do that. You don't think he got? But you I think, think he's dumb, nigga? He no. got mad people going around him. Of What's really about to happen is in fourteen weeks, our community. If this COVID shit is real, we you know what I mean. The people who want to be together, we're going to have some problems. For what do you mean? For, I mean, not 14 weeks, 14 days. Because that's how long it takes to see who got the COVID or not. This, this, and that. Oh, word. Yeah. If no one has it after that, then the COVID, it was never really a thing. And then this right. whole George Floyd thing was a whole setup to distract what was going on in the world today with all this pedophile stuff with the votes like it's yo America's smart bro like I bet you that that cop probably gonna get off and if he don't get off like he not going in jail the cops are not gonna be in jail like of for sure not. they gonna be living that's somewhere just gonna else be crazy cool. like, like Takashi yeah like him you know what I mean how you how you do how you do crime but you out cause you like you did crime like you ordered some kills like it don't make no sense and that's what people don't understand it's a whole different type of game when you are no longer a civilian. Once you're in a gang and you're declaring this and that, that's it. It's oh, You're not a civilian, so now you're playing by different rules. So that's why people are so on edge about you snitching. Yeah. Like, I personally don't care because you're going to do what you're going to do. Yeah. But because... It's, that's just the rules. You're still a snitch. I understand what you why you did it or whatever, but... you. You still a, it doesn't change the fact that you're still a snitch. Yeah, but he's still gonna, snitched. He's going to get a pass because, like, bro, there is no social pass. media. Like, you know, but here's the thing like, oh, man. Wait, I want to see the top of the real time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god, this shit look crazy. That shit is crazy. We're back. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga, camera went flying, yo. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, y'all know we cutting this clip. This whole shit. Yo, wow. That's never happened before. That's crazy. Can't be talking that type of talk, man. Can't be talking about such nothing like that. You're not no snitch. He's definitely a snitch, though. Yeah. But he's not a street nigga, so he can't. He's not. He's he, street rules don't apply to him. Nah, they do. They they knew they knew he was in the street nigga beforehand. Right. So 
that's kind of your fault. They both took advantage of each other. Yeah, absolutely. But they more than him. Like, he, you know what I mean? He's, he's getting on. I don't condone it. He definitely shouldn't be snitching. Like, <laughs> the but, coach to 6'9". <laughs> it's it, it, it just crazy how you <laughs> get, you ruin lives. And you're out here just frolicking like nothing happened. Yeah. Wearing lace fronts like nothing happened. But he definitely gonna get his like it's gonna come back around. That's one thing about life like what goes around definitely. I vowed we were gonna talk about this nigga. Oh, <laughs> it, it's it's it, it, it. Motherfucker. We're good. <sighs> Alright, no more assistant on top. <laughs> God damn, that shit, the camera fucking up is like repeated over and over in my head. That's ill. That shit was like <laughs> flailing in the air. We cutting that clip and that's gonna be inappropriate, right? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I saw this post earlier and a couple people has a couple funny answers. It said, uh, what do all broke people have? And then people were, yeah. I mean, going and giving some answers. What do y'all think? What are, what are some things all broke people have? They always have weed for some odd reason. That's the realest great answer I've ever That's heard. Bad. The realest answer I've ever, ever heard in my life. They do always oh, have shit. Cigarettes. <laughs> Not no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I cannot believe this motherfucking Sick. governor. So sick of him. Wow, what happened with the cigarette? I don't even know. Cigarettes, about that. flavored tobacco, no more in mass. Yeah, honestly, that's a beautiful thing. Though. That is a beautiful thing. Yeah, cigarettes. I don't like tobacco. Yo, so cigarettes are all. bad for y'all people. I, I, no, I don't, I don't care about cigarettes. Oh, okay. I don't care about the, 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 I, I, mm-hmm. I hate these. This is what we first to have. Yeah, I, I hate, hate that. that. I hate so that no hate more them. in general, like no, oh, there's no more originals in all of Massachusetts. All the matches. So don't even got flavored backwards? No. Damn. I, that's a, see, I picked a good time to stop smoking. Hey, <laughs> shit. Damn, the honey backwards is the best. Look at all gone. Niggas got to take them drugs. I like them. Some products. You got to come here. Yeah. Like, I'll stop smoking blunts in, like, 2013. Good for fucking you. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ha, ha, ha. No, but why they, what was the reason for doing that? Like, what it was? Kids. Uh, we're trying to <coughs> yeah not influence the kids. It does appeal to kids. Marijuana. It does appeal to kids. Uh, Absolutely. How, 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 how? How? Because of flavor shits. Yeah, my first time I ever smoked was a great Dutch. Me too. <laughs> What's that got to do with appealing to kids? <laughs> what did you just say? Because it was a, a great Dutch? As a yeah. Kid, I go smoke an uh, original one. <laughs> What? Yeah. No, that don't make no sense. Yeah, it does. it's your first time around, the flavor makes it easier to... Hell to yeah. Eat. All them flavored wraps and shit. Yeah. And, and fucking... Horrible. I know, but you a kid uh, smoking. Damn, the Entourage days. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Blumville days. Man, yeah. I don't know. That's, That's crazy. I didn't even hear about that, but damn. Yeah, now you know. Yeah. That went into effect on Sorry. the first... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Don't even say I don't even say it. We hurting over here. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Nigga, you better hit Amazon. Fuck. No, I just drive over here, bro. Yeah, all right, we we here every week. You hear all the time. We said this last time. Twelve minutes. Selling them yeah. in there. I was like, what's up? So I'm good. the flavored Dutch guy. <laughs> right. People's already doing it. Niggas uh, selling yeah. fucking new birds for twenty dollars or some shit. Time, they like, got rid of cigarettes too. Like just all cigarettes, menthol cigarettes. Yeah. Okay, they only uh, sell non-menthol cigarettes. I don't even know nothing really about the cigarette game like that. So that's crazy. the ones that all urban people smoke: Newport hundreds and shorts. And I mean, a pack of cigarettes in New York is already it's already, <laughs> like a, it's already like eighteen dollars. So yeah, yeah. damn, a pack of cigarettes was eighteen dollars. I know that's crazy. Eighteen dollars in New York. Oh, in New York, yeah. Remember, yeah, because um, cigarette prices is a state law, not federal. So yeah. Last time I went to New York, I tried to get a fucking a black amount. Nigga told me I can buy that shit single. That that was against the law hmm. to sell loose black and mild. Here? In New York. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I had to buy the pack. And then the pack was like thirteen dollars <laughs> for five pots. Palabra. We went off the highway, nigga. It's highway prices. Yeah, that's crazy. No, thank you. I wanted a fucking third of one. Like, <laughs> I didn't even want the whole thing. Right. 
I can't do that. that yo, think, remember? Oh, God. Okay, remember them busting down whole blacks yeah, back in Those used to be the days. Me too. Drinking mad yeah. liquor. Terrible. Oh, God, yeah. never had no you never had a black amount? No. This is the best. Yeah, I'm liquor. fucking disgusted. Right? Like, best liquor yeah. chase in the world. I couldn't believe I used to do that shit. Hit a black now. Get a forty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. dying, nigga. I'm running, motherfucker. They smoking a black. I'll be feeling like, oh geez, let me hit that shit right quick, little nigga. Let me yeah, I'm dying. Shit. I don't got it. I don't got it I'm no dying. more. I'm dying. What the fuck is in there? I'm dying. I gotta be stressed. Used to be a I'm 40. dying. <laughs> Get a forty in the black amount. Nah, nigga, I'm stressed. I'm smoking weed. Yeah, fuck. Damn. Younger babies smoking them shits like they blood. No black amount? Oh, she, she must be stressed as fuck. Y'all be on psychedelics? Y'all fuck with shrooms and shit? You fuck with shrooms? Yeah, I haven't. The only drug I did is weed, and that's not even a drug to me. Mm. To be honest, that's, that's it. But my, all I need is weed and liquor, you know what I mean? I don't know where motherfuckers be trying to go. <laughs> <laughs> the, Outer space with yeah. Elon Musk in them. Yeah. The, weed, the weed take me there. Where y'all be, where y'all go off to psychedelics, yeah. I be there. I but know I, about the heroin and all that. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. But I probably do like shrooms or I probably do shrooms in my life, you know. I feel like I need to get to where I, I want to be first before I do that. Because I don't want to have a bad trip and just be stuck in that. Mm. That's that's you know what I mean. Mm. I'm just over here thinking about everything that could go wrong on my trip. Word. That shit would suck. It would. Yeah. Fucking shrooms though. Mm. Stuck there for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't, I can't <laughs> have that. That's a wild, wild. Why you you fuck with psychedelics? Nah, I'm, I'm trying to do some shrooms. I'm trying to do some shrooms. I want to do some shrooms. Me too, but I'm scared. I mean, if you're in a good space, I heard it's a like if you're in a good space with life. I heard it's a it's a vibe. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, sick. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to trip. Yeah. I never did it before. Hell no. <laughs> I'm trying to trip. That's what I'm saying. I'm not really trying to. You know, I, mean, I, have no, I have no real interest. I don't like regular mushrooms on my burgers and shit, bro. I don't, <laughs> nigga, I don't like them shit. Drug mushroom for like it. LSD. Oh. Anybody do LSD? I like them shit. Did LSD before? Nah, nah. That's what I never, I never do none of it. I feel like come on, we, you know, that's. I only like the white man yeah, drugs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we don't really. <laughs> what? Those are <laughs> white men drugs. That is yeah, white. Yeah. yeah. We popping pills on this motherfucker. Right? <laughs> I don't do that either. Pill poppers in this room. Nah, nah, nah. Don't we? I mean, don't we? Nigga, <laughs> <Yeah>. we. <laughs> He's like, what? Well, I don't even pop Tylenol. Y'all really notice nice. the difference between this thing and last week and this week? <laughs> you stupid. That was funny. Oh, that's it. <laughs> or was two it the week, week ago, before? It was the week before. It was the week before. Yeah, 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 drug. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Where, yeah. Tell everybody where you can find your social. You're not, you're not your social, man. You're yeah, steal your bitch. fucking identity. This nigga said 062 29. Shut up. You can do this shit up. You ain't gonna get far with that. I don't know. You're ready to find the music at? No, you can find my music, Apple Music, Spotify, any streaming platform at Doran Pierre, D O R R E N P I E R R E. I mean, spell it out for people who can't sound it out. Yeah. <laughs> Social media at Doran Pierre, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's where everything's under. A word. Until next time, Until we next out time. this hoe. Thank you for coming through. Thanks. Definitely gonna fucking leave here. I was spun your shit on the way up here. I was like, oh Me shit, too. I'm playing this nigga shit. Me too. It was already playing. We're groupies, so I was gonna go on Instagram no, no, and like promote no, it. Not, not shit, groupies, bro. not fans. No. That's not <laughs> bullshit, yo. You legit one of my favorite artists. Like, yeah, no cap. Like, in a short period of time, too. For real. I ain't knew about your music. Can't even say a year yet. Or, man, I, appreciate I don't even that. remember if it was what happened. Yeah, I should tap in. Is it a year? Tap into that oh, whole, oh. that D-Ren, that D-Ren shit. Like, it's, it's like yeah. basically like I'm around right. the time Not you came bad. on the episode. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think like, that's, I think that's, that's like, right, niggas yeah. really like, was like yo, yeah, who honestly, the fuck when is I, this When I did that, you was more like, you was kind of, it was more like, what, like, what do you got coming out? Like, what is yeah. like, what music? Yeah, because when we kept asking, what type of music you made? It was on the spot. He's like, I made like all different types of music today, like, the fuck? Who is this nigga? Yeah. Running into your ass, yeah. nigga. And that shit was like, even up to that, like, 
me and Yola talk about that shit a lot. Like, obviously, we all know, like, being out there, you know what I mean? Your face being out there, being on social media, like, just running into you a lot was making me, like, get in the car and be like, I mean, yeah. man, this nigga shit is really fucking hard. I mean, actually seeing somebody make you want to play their fucking music, you know what I'm saying? You interact mm-hmm. with a motherfucker on social media, make you want to play their music, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yola, a whole star. Yeah, Chico man. Yola. We got to get Yola back up here. Nah, nigga, you just didn't let's talk. Shut your ass up. I, I, nigga, yo, you know what's crazy? I'm so not worried about them niggas that when you of said that, not. that I was like, oh yeah, I thought she was gonna say he already been on the show. No, I was saying he just did. No, talk. he's not. My concern was I don't give a fuck what he's already been on the show. <laughs> we can obviously get. Are we still going, bro? Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, this nigga is, This nigga wow, yeah. <laughs> is so I, don't, I don't give a fuck that he's been on Let's this Talk This nigga torchy uh, <laughs> You better look down like nigga is weak Man, yo, 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 I look at him fucking laugh He's like, yo, it's still right <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, you shut the fuck up Still going <laughs> What? Was that I supposed to say that? You can say whatever you want to say. You ain't say no. You ain't say no. You ain't say no. You ain't say no. You ain't don't give a fuck that he was on there. That's cool. I'm trying to clean it up for a little bit. You know what I mean? No. But I don't. That's dope. We'll get our guy. We'll get our guy. Somebody went on 105. You know what I mean? I feel you. I really care about that. Like, this is Yeah, when a nigga doing their press run, that's different. Oh, shit. Eric ain't been on? Nah, he ain't been on. man. Hey, get this nigga on, man. Power moves. Yeah, That's we definitely got to, huh? definitely got to, definitely, definitely got to get Eric on here. That's crazy. I, no. See, then we done did this shit coming up on two years. I don't know how many fucking guests. Are we going to do this again? We out this hoe. It's Follow Inappropriate Page, the new one. Inappropriate 413. Uh, tune in. This guy versus <laughs> Darius Isaiah. Friday, 8 o'clock. For the culture Fridays. Download therapy. All platforms. Get in tune. No bullshit. Hell yeah. Shit out. We out.